Six weeks of the work is an extreme fitness program that requires you to have a strong level of fitness before starting it. So here is the official work fit test guide so you can see if you meet the fitness requirements to be able to start this program. Now you need a stopwatch or something you can record your time on at least, a piece of chalk, a tape measure and a pull up bar if you've got one but it's not essential. The rules of the fit test. Now before you start, you have seven moves to complete and you can only have a maximum of two minutes in between each move. Make sure you're warm up first and here's what you need to achieve. And I'll also leave a link in the description below so you can go check out the fitness test when it's also live on Beachbody. Now the seven moves you're about to do is what you're gonna do at the start of the program and again at the end of the program so you can measure how far you've come. Number one, push-ups. The idea is to do as many push-ups as you can until you fatigue. The goal you need to achieve here is 25 push-ups for men and 15 push-ups for women. Like I said before, make sure you have no more than two minutes rest in between each of these moves. And move number two is optional as the pull-up bar is not a requirement to get this workout done. You won't be given modifiers instead, you'll just be given alternate moves which are just as hard. But if you do have a pull-up bar, then the goal here is to get your chest to the bar. You need to achieve a minimum of one rep here for a woman and four reps here for a man. Number three, the vertical jump. Stand next to the wall sidewards and hold a piece of chalk in the arm furthest away from the wall. Stretch your arms up straight up into the air, then mark with a piece of chalk how high you can reach. Then put the chalk in the hand closest to the wall. Then try to achieve the highest jump you can. Mark the wall at the apex of your jump. Measure the distance between the two marks and this will determine your vertical height jump. You need to achieve a distance of 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters for women. And for men, you need to achieve 16 inches or 40.6 centimeters. Number four, it's burpees. The idea is to achieve as many reps as you can in one minute, but you need to achieve 22 reps to pass this goal. Number five, which is not a bad one if you've done Beachbody programs before, it's the forearm plank. You need to hold the forearm plank for 60 seconds, but if you exceed the 60 seconds, keep going as this is gonna be your starting result. Number six is the wall sit. Put your back against the wall and then bend your legs 90 degrees and stretch your arms out straight in front of you. Now the goal here is to hold this position for a minimum of 60 seconds but like the previous move keep going if you pass that 60 second mark as this is going to be your starting result. Number seven is the balance test. To start with stand up tall, shift your weight into your right leg, lift your left foot off the ground and place the bottom of it against the side of your right calf. Hold it for as long as you can. You need to achieve 60 seconds and do this for each leg. Now make sure you cool yourself down after doing those moves. Let me know in the comments below if you passed this fitness test and let me know how many burpees you managed to get in. Don't worry if you didn't pass the fitness test as there are a lot of other options on Beachbody On Demand as you don't want to try this workout if you're not ready and end up injuring yourself. But if you did pass I'll have the full free workout for you to try on Monday. So make sure you like, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on that. I'm Steve Bunn, never give up trying to get your results and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.